Hey guys, just wanted to show you how I would install a tritium vial into the um, empty clear cases that you get from the, the glow fob pellet kit. Um, this is for putting into the Tech Accessories glow fob, which I have a review elsewhere on my website. Um, so what I've got here, I've got a, a green tritium vial that I got from Macava at CPF Marketplace. I've got this um, empty clear case that uh, you get in the glow fob pellet kit. Got a little bit of blue tack. I've got a syringe here uh, with a, a finer tip. Um, and um, in the syringe is uh, Norlin 61, which is a special adhesive. And once again, you can buy this from CPF Marketplace. Um, before we get started, let's try the tritium into in the in the empty tube here so you know what I would do first is try to get it centered in place okay so with this this just gives you an idea how um, how much space you have on, on either ends of the acrylic tube and um, you know from what I see here we've probably got about three millimeters I'd say um, so that gives you an idea how much blue tack you need to put in before um, it's, you know, you have a, a centered tritium vial. So what I start off by doing is I just get a little bit of the, the blue tack. <clears throat> I'm not too sure what you call it in other countries. In Australia here, we call it Bostick blue tack. Um, here's, here's a picture of the packaging. There we go. <clears throat> so first up, I would push in the blue tack here till you know from what I gauged to before about three millimeters till the blue tack's about three millimeters into the vial here and there we go that'll do okay what I might actually do is I've got here a toothpick. Um, it's got a flat end to it, and I might just use this blue, t um, this toothpick, just to neaten up the end of this hair. And the next step here is, you know, you just flow the Norlin 61 into the tube. Now, I, f I feel the key to this is you want to flow the liquid in very slowly um, so have the tip up against one more don't put in too much at, at, at once otherwise um, you'll block up the opening here and um, the Norlin 61 won't flow down the tube properly and you get stuck with a, a pocket of dead air so here we go We're just injecting the Norlin 61 here slowly and just let gravity do its job, let it glide down. And you probably fill it till it's about about a third of the way full as you can see I'm trying to do this slowly and just let that slide down So I think I need a bit more Norlin 61. So here we go, this is the tube of the Norlin 61 here.
That's quite thick stuff, doesn't go up the syringe easily. Okay, I think that should do me. Let's see how we go. I'll put in a little bit more of the Norland 61. So I'll probably want to fill it up till it's about, um, maybe till it's about a third full, maybe till it's about there. Once again, just going to slowly flow it in. Let it slide down the wall of the tube. Okay, so let's see how much I've got there. It's filled up to about there. That'll probably be enough. It might even be too much. And then the next step is you just just slowly gently slide the slide the um, tritium in yeah I'll probably put in a little bit too much actually oh well and keep pushing it down till it goes to the end of the tip where the blue blue tack is and that's it for now okay so from here you just need to let the Norland 61 set um, I'll leave it out in the Sun for a few hours and um, it'll set from the sunlight there once that's done you just take off the the blue tack down the bottom um, try and pull it out and get some more Norland 61 on the other end of the tube there Okay.